<laughs> we embarrass everybody equally no, here. I, 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 let me tell you the whole story. I went to Powellville, Iowa to play a ballroom there with Bill Wimberly and the Country Rhythm Boys from the Ozark Jubilee. I bought a paper to see where we were playing, and, and, the, and there was a half-page ad in the paper that read, directly from Ozark Jubilee, Bill Wimberly, which is not a, an easy name, Bill Wimberly and the Country Rhythm Boys spell perfectly, yeah. and featuring <laughs> B A B Y L A R D. <laughs> Baby Lard. But, but I have to tell you the most distressing part of this whole story. We had a packed house that night. <laughs> I started to change my name. I got one better than that. Grab the microphone, Bill. I got one better than that. I hope it's, it's uh, decent to tell. <laughs> But the, one of the first uh, uh, trips I went on after I came to Grand Ole Opry is I was on the tour with Isla Lubin and Cowboy Copas and a bunch of them. We went down to Mobile, Alabama, and they had posters made up for the show. And they spelled everybody's name but mine right. <laughs> Instead of Billy Walker, they hit it T A L L Y W A K E R. <laughs> That's the absolute truth. <laughs> absolute <laughs> truth. <laughs> And I, I'm not going to pronounce that. <laughs> that is the truth. Leroy, Leroy Van Dyke uh, has a wonderful story about uh, getting your name wrong when he introduced you on stage. There have been lots of those. Backstage, Minneapolis, and it was a big convention. The guy that signed the contract thought that since he signed the contract, he had the pleasure and privilege of introducing the star. I heard the music start, knowing it was time for me to come on. I didn't know what he said. I came out, the drummer was falling through the drums. My <laughs> wife was playing keyboards and singing back up. She was crying and laughing at the same time. Nobody could play. He came to the center microphone. He said, direct from Nashville, Tennessee, in the Grand Ole Opry, Lyle Van Dick. <laughs> hey, Billy, I've got, one. I've got one on Bill Carlisle. We was working up in New York or someplace, and Bill Carlisle was on the show, and uh, this man was going to, he didn't have anybody to emcee the show, but he had a lady friend. He was about 70, and she was about 25. And she, they, I don't reckon there's nothing wrong with it, if you can handle it. <laughs> but anyway, no, no, they ain't, believe me, I'm fast getting there. I can handle it. But anyway, I can handle both of them. <laughs> he brought this, he said her, she was an entertainer and she was working at a club down the road. So her date got canceled, so she brought her up there to MC our show. And she walked up to us and she said, what is the Grand Ole Opera? <laughs> well, I won't tell you what I told her. But she walked over to Carlisle and she says, Ask him how he wanted to be introduced. And he said, just tell him I'm with Peckerwood Records, a subsidiary of Bucket Lid. And that's how she introduced him. Stonewall, what, what's the great story? Uh, uh, were you and Red Savine in the car when they pulled you over that time? Yeah, this is things that happened back when I first came. We had uh, uh, somehow we come by an old Cadillac limousine. It was just like brand new, but it was real old, you know like 41 model, something like that. And, uh, and it looked like uh, those uh, uh, people up in Chicago, you know, uh, all those gangsters. And, and uh, so we was going through town, and, and Red Savine was leaning across the front seat, so the police thought he probably had a gun on me or something. It was kind of weird looking at 4 o'clock in the morning. You know? And uh, so uh, they pulled us over and blocked the road, you know, and everything. One of them got out with a gun out and all that, and the other one came up to us. He said, uh, let me see your license. So I showed him a license. He said, Stonewall Jackson. Huh? He said, Stonewall Jackson. said, well, who is that in the back seat? Is that Abraham Lincoln? And, and I said, no, that's Woodrow Wilson. And, I, and, I, and, I, and he said, boy, are you smarting off of me? And I said, Red, show him before he locks us up, you know? Yeah, because Red Savine's real name was Woodrow Wilson Savine. Woodrow Wilson Savine. Yeah. 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 